How many times have you thrown a grenade at your teammate's legs on overpass, only for it to fall under the ground, making it absolutely useless? Or lost an expensive rifle on Mirage, because you weren't careful and threw it into the wall accidentally? Happens to me about every other round. Or attempted to close the door, only to be stopped by a godly powerful chicken. Nope, 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 nope. Do these bugs render CSGO unplayable? I will leave it for you to decide. My opinion is stated in the title of this video. Look at these balconies. With no doors to get there. A door with handles on the opposite sides. When Valve does pay attention to detail, we don't see it. At certain distances. At closer distances, we do. We become sanitized to this kind of things. And if you're watching this in May 2020 when it comes out, I must clarify that by sanitized, I mean we get used to them. This is called normalization of deviance. In short, we get tired of raging at something we see too often. We accept it as the new norm. But does it make it the new norm? Does this effect make the game playable? I will leave it for you to decide. But I'm going to influence your opinion as much as I can. Imagine yourself killed because your head was sticking out through the floor. A nice feeling, isn't it? Let the rage flow through you. Imagine yourself killed because your head was sticking out through the floor. Imagine yourself killed. Do you think the game is playable now? Well, do you, punk? In other games, trains are well respected. There's a certain weight behind them. Blue or red, players stay and patiently wait for them to pass, or pay a morbid price if they refuse to. Such is not the case in CSGO. Here, trains are an inferior mode of transportation. If you want to get anywhere, choose planes. On a plane, you can drop on your opponent like an eagle dash past his flaming remnants and rise back into the sky for another run. Or watch your teammates back, save him and get revenge at the same time. That's War Thunder. A game that has planes, helicopters, tanks, ships fighting each other all around the world. There are plenty of game modes. You can play arcade skirmishes that are light, quick and fun. Or fight in a realistic battle, which strives to be true to history and allows you to reenact something from World War II or a modern conflict. The game is easy to get into, it has lots of opportunities for teamwork and tactical cooperation with friends, and gives you this just one more battle feeling, which I have succumbed to while recording this. War Thunder is free, it is available on PC, PS4, Xbox One. Get the game, follow the link in the description. It gives you a free day premium, as well as a bonus vehicle of your choice. A very nice way to start playing the game.
Molotov and the T's at the top, I have to say. Molotov, there it is. Go out. Oh, that's... Mm, okay. Physics in this game subvert your expectations, just like a proper joke should. While it may be okay for the game to have poor physics, it's not what the game's about after all. But how on earth can you ship a game that makes you reload two pistols when you've only used one? And if you shoot both pistols, the smoke will come out of only one. If instead of the pistol you shoot another weapon, the smoke from the pistol will still come. This last one is especially infuriating. Press the like button if you don't give a shit. Try reloading the revolver when you only have a single bullet left. Seven more appear out of nowhere. If you turn your rifle sideways, this is what you'd expect to see. And this is how the game thinks it works. On certain view model settings, you can notice that the new magazine you put in when you reload is actually the old one. Valve tried to hide this outrageous bug, but he no. And the last but not least, there's been some debate on whether or not a Molotov should burn on water. Is this a bug or is it okay? Why don't you vote and we'll see exactly how many of you are wrong? Year 2020. A new CSGO update has been released. It features the following changes. Graffiti on transparent surfaces consume only half a charge. Graffiti on shelves consume free charges. Added a game setting to change the color of the rectangle which appears after repeatedly hitting the same spot with a knife. Added vampire stack to the game store page. Switching away from a Molotov that has been lit now has a small chance of unforeseen consequences. New achievement. Unfinished business syndrome. For those who have failed to get the Aztec map veteran achievement, when the Aztec map was still in the game. People who have got the Aztec achievement will be unable to get this new one. Now it's all fair. Thank you for watching, we will continue playing this game so you don't have to. Consider subscribing. Love and peace.